what we're going to do is start with our property. So our property is going to be break because this is when the object is going to activate the gravity and physics. So what we're going to do is label this break. I like to do it in all lowercase. You don't want it to not work because you accidentally put a capital or something in it. So we're going to make this an integer. And then we are going to add some controllers and sensors and all that great stuff. Because we're actually not going to use any programming, no Python or anything. It's all going to be logic breaks. So what we're going to do is add a collision. And this collision is going to be gravity. Ooh. Okay, so gravity. So we're going to collide with gravity. We're going to have to make a gravity object. It's going to activate the physics and spawn in our active physics objects. So, because this is just going to be a static plank. So what we're going to do is add three edit objects. So what I did there is I just pressed E to quickly add the edit object nodes in. So we're going to connect into our edit object nodes. Now, in our first edit object node, we're going to say, okay, so when it hits the gravity object, it's going to spawn in our plank. So this object here is going to be our plank. What we're going to do for this object is say, oop, let's get rid of that. Actually, I might have to do that for all these. Okay. So what it's going to be is a blank, just an object. Nothing special about it, but we're going to make it a physics object. So we need to go into our physics panel, which should be automatically here in the game logic uh, window. So if you need to go find the game logic window, you just hit this and then go down to game logic. So for our physics object, we're going to add a rigid body, and then we are going to make this rigid body collidable. So we'll just add collisions, and we're just going to use the box collision for it. And this should be ready to go. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to need any properties or anything for it. When gravity hits it, it's going to spawn this in. So what else we have to do is add our gravity object. So actually, this is going to be our new gravity object here, this cube, this white one has no data on it. It's just a rigid body like the other. And it's uh, an actor with collisions. And that's it. Except we need to add a property to this one. So this one's just, you don't need to do anything. Uh, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be an empty property. And this property is going to be gravity. So this is going to be what's colliding with our, our main object here. So now we're going to, for the last function of this plank, it's going to be an end, end object. So we're going to use this end object node. When gravity hits it, it's going to delete this and then spawn in our actual plank here. And what this is going to also allow us to do is add a chain reaction pretty much going straight up. That way you don't have any floating objects or anything. So now what we're going to do is move this to another layer so we're going to move it to our third layer since there's nothing on that because an object cannot spawn in the same layer so now gravity should fall on this block and first of all we're going to save because you never know when it's going to crash so test and it works it, it works because a static object touches and it falls if we don't have this touch it it should stay there forever yep Perfect. Now what we need to do is test. So if we duplicate this object a few times, what happens when we hit the bottom one? Nothing. It do, it's not going to chain react or anything. So the way we're going to do that is get rid of all this. We are going to make this a group object. So we're going to go. So what you want to do is go to your toolbar. And you can act, say you don't have it, you can activate it by pressing T. And then go down to Relations. So in Relations, we're going to add a new group. And we're going to name this group Gravity. And since this already, I already have all this built, I'm going to add a underscore test. So now I have a group name. So I can press my uh, Shift A which adds an object, Shift A, and then you can add a group instance. So we're going to go down to our new group instance, which is our gravity test. 
it's going to be all the way over here because it's weird blender spawns in weird spots and we're going to have to go to object transform volume now our object will spawn right there but this still isn't going to help us because when this spawns it's going to spawn right in the middle of the plank and it's not going to help for a chain reaction or anything so what we want to do is grab the main object that we just made a group of and move it up to about the top just just before it hits the top of the empty just so a little bit of the empty sticking out the top now if we do it there we go it works now and we also need to press control a and then scale we also need to come in here and for our gravity object which is going to be our middle one we need to find our spawnable here because we need our group instance actually it should be yeah you should just be able to type in gravity and then go to gravity test and then we can just have our layer again now this should work yeah. well it works but <laughs> uh, it's kind of not what we want oh that's kind of weird if I can fix this because that's gonna move that so I need to make this go away there we go All right, so I fixed it. Okay, so I figured out the problem. I was moving around my uh, group instance and messing it all up. So now, when uh, when a so anything that's pretty much gravity, it's going to affect it. So now it should be able to chain react. So say it hits the top, nothing's gonna happen. But if it hits the bottom first, it's going to chain react and go all the way up. So now, what we can do because we have all this working <laughs> so what I basically what I did is I sent it to a different layer so I won't affect it anymore so that's the original gravity object here's our gravity object and then everything else is here so now what we can do is say let's build something we're going to just go into orthographic mode which is just three and then five five is the button that makes you go into uh, your orthographic view so we can do this and then we can yeah, let's just make a little structure here doesn't really matter because we're just playing around here but we can add all these so now we have this little structure and then we can add in this cube gravity and then there it goes so now if we hit the bottom boom chain reaction gets rid of all of it and then, did I actually do it? I accidentally deleted my uh, plank object, so we need to make a new one here. Get rid of all this stuff, and it's just going to be a rigid body object. All right, so now it's all that. Send that to another layer. And then we can, did I? Oh my goodness, okay. doesn't need to make a new cube all right now there we go so if you destroy the top one here it'll just destroy that and then gravity will ensue then we can just destroy this one perfect oh we have an extra one that would have been great when I was recording <laughs> Uh, recording to the back end of the bike. <laughs> that's how you do it and then you will pretty much get the same effect as this whole uh, tower thing I made so this is the final product after you built all your towers and everything so you got your barriers and destroy your barrier and then you can destroy all these so each plank kind of is its own object here you can destroy those and then if you say you destroy the top of the tower it'll blow up the top but if you destroy the bottom of the tower, it will destroy the entire tower. And then the same thing with this one over here. And that's how you make a physics object. 
or fix basically make your buildings so they're destructible. And then I also made it so if I get a certain distance away, I think I, I won't be able to because it's like 50. But it will destroy all the all the stuff you get too far away from it. Doesn't <laughs> hope that you're here. Okay.